I'm trying to decide like what is the most important thing if I could tell you one thing about clothes today they say like whenever you're making like a video or trying to teach something like just have one clear main point one clear takeaway and then support it like three different ways and so I think if I could tell you one thing about clothes, what I've learned about my wardrobe and clothes and simplifying over the years is that we can have lots of clothes and nothing to wear. And what I found is that I was holding myself hostage in a way because I was not willing to invest in clothing until I was a certain size again. And then once I reached that magical size, then I felt I deserved or would invest in clothes again because then it would be worthwhile. But in the in-between, all of this, what, I don't know, eight years of in-between, apparently I didn't deserve to have clothes that fit well and then I felt really good in. Um, and so this has been a process for me. And today I wanna show you just kinda like what I wear in a week, how my uniform has evolved over the last year or so, what pieces I invest in, what things I don't. But if I could just tell you one thing today, no matter what size or shape you are right now, you deserve to have clothes that fit and that you feel good in. And that is what makes getting dressed in the morning super easy, whether you have lots of clothes or not very many clothes at all. Well, hi, I'm Dawn from The Minimal Mom. If we haven't met before, I'm married to Tom and we have four kids ages seven through 12. And for men and kids, it seems like it's so easy to get dressed. Everything fits them. They go to the store, they get their size and whatever. They have a wardrobe, right? But man, I I mean, really for as long as I can remember, clothes have been like a thing for me. We were short growing up and back in the old days, like they didn't, it was hard to find like short jeans, uh, petite style things. And so I, I actually feel like my whole life has been a struggle to find clothes that fit and that I feel good in. And so I, I I think the main thing, like I said, that has shifted with my mindset now is that I deserve to have clothes that fit right now, right here, and to spend money on them, even in seasons when we don't have a lot of extra money to spend. Because what's so cool is that we only need a few pieces. Like I'm gonna show you what I wear in a week. I don't need tons of clothes if they fit well, but most of us have never experienced that, having a closet of all stuff that fits and is options. And when that is the case, when every single item in my closet is something that is an option for me to wear today, I don't need a lot of clothes. And so this idea of creating a wardrobe, even though it might be in a size that I would prefer it's not, now isn't as daunting, it isn't as expensive because I'm going into it with a completely different mindset. And so why don't, I'll show you just kind of like what I wear in a week and we'll talk about the uniform because some people love it and other people are like, how can you wear all black all the time? I've introduced some color. I have a couple of fun pieces I wanna show you as well. So day in, day out, I have shown you my uniform. It is a black t-shirt and a pair of jeans. The black t-shirts are just from Amazon. I have tried, I don't like buying stuff on Amazon. I'll be honest, like I have tried to find like the merino wool and the more sustainably made and whatever. I haven't found ones that fit as well as just these scoop neck t-shirts from Amazon and they're so inexpensive. So for now, eventually I would like to replace these and have something more sustainable, all that jazz. But for now, this is my go-to t-shirt. This t-shirt I've literally had for two years now. They wash up, I have two of them. They wash up well, they fit well for me. It might not be the right fit for everybody, but for me, I just, they fit well. I like the scoop neck. V-necks on me tend to get a little bit low sometimes, so I like the scoop neck because I'm short, and it is my go-to. So three days out of the week, if you bump into me, you will probably see me wearing this exact same shirt. Well, one of the two that I have. I also added a couple other more casual uh, t-shirts too that are dark colored that I just, they're just kind of fun but they're the main thing was they fit and they are super easy to wear so it adds a little variation but no color there's still no color right but so this is just my everyday if i'm just getting dressed and i just have a normal day nothing special going on this is what i'm gonna wear i have four different pairs of jeans two i've invested in two are cheaper so uh this pair is from the buckle they were like 58 dollars, and then this gray pair is from express and they were like 84 dollars but I love them. They fit the best of any of my jeans. Um, they are so comfortable. They have the high top, like just so easy to wear. 
And so last year I was like, okay, I'm going all in on this pair of jeans. $84 is a lot of money, but now I'm on my second season with them. They show hardly anywhere. They fit good. I feel good when I'm in them. So I look at that as a very worthwhile investment. Then I have two less expensive pairs of jeans. These are both from Marshalls. They were like 20 bucks. Um, but I like them. They don't fit as good. I sometimes have to put a binder on the, uh, on the button of the one because they get a little snug. Um, but they're fine. I like them. And I just know if I'm like going somewhere all day and sitting and standing and all that, I won't pick one of those. I'll pick one of my pair that fits better. But if I'm just running errands out and about, totally fine. And I, I like them well enough. Okay, so let's talk about though if I if I am gonna go somewhere, maybe to church, out to coffee with a friend. I got this top also from the buckle. I know some of you have said like, what is the buckle? It turns out they're in the stores are in like 40 some states, so it's not just a upper Minnesota Midwest thing. But I don't know, it's kind of similar maybe to like Pack Sun or I don't know. I just for whatever reason. I like their styles, the clothes generally fit me. Um, and I do feel like now that I'll be turning 40 this fall that maybe I shouldn't be shopping there anymore. It's like for younger kids. But nonetheless, I'm gonna live it up for a little bit longer. So I got this floral top um, from there this spring. Again, I like that it is just very easy to wear. It fits well. And so if it's like, hey, Sunday morning, I'm gonna go get dressed for church and I put it on, I'm not adjusting it, I'm not sucking in, I'm not trying to stand a certain way. It is just so easy to wear. And so again, that's what I keep going back to is that I deserve to have clothes that fit and that I feel good in right now, no matter what. And it doesn't have to be a lot, right? This is not a lot of clothing, but each day of the week, I have something that I can wear that I feel good in. We'll also talk in a second about people that like are more into fashion and you like lots of clothes. So we'll talk about that too. Um, and then we actually celebrated our 14th wedding anniversary last week. And I actually have a video about our minimalist wedding. It was we had an awesome wedding. It was super fun um, to revisit that in that video and to talk about it. So I'll link to that video about our minimalist wedding. But uh, date night, I got this dress just off Amazon. Again, I don't love promoting things on Amazon, but um, it just, it fit. I like put it on and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Like I've said before, I have a hard time finding dresses that I feel good in that fit well and it fit. And I like the colors um, and I just, I feel good in it super easy to wear it has pockets which is kind of fun um but i've worn it a few times now and i just really like how easy it is to wear and then i also got one in black as well you might have noticed in the things i don't buy at target video anymore so i have a black one this blue one and i feel like i am set for dresses if i were to we were getting invited to like a wedding or something that was a little fancier then i would probably go out and buy a dress for it or borrow one but that happens so infrequently that we go somewhere that we get like really dressed up that i don't have any like fancy dresses in my wardrobe and so i'm totally okay with that and i'm okay if once in a while i'm purchasing something for a specific event because you know you want to fit like the time of year and the venue and the current size that you are and so i know some of you have like your your weight doesn't fluctuate your size doesn't so you can invest in some nice quality dressy pieces and they last forever that has i don't know that's never actually worked for me so i just give myself permission that it's okay if once in a while i'm buying something specific for an occasion totally fine. And so you might be thinking like, well, Dawn, this is great for you, but you have a fairly casual lifestyle. You're obviously not into fashion a ton, which I am not, but I have an identical twin sister who does very much more get into her appearance and clothes and all that, which is totally fine. We're all wired differently. It doesn't make her vain or anything like that. She's just like, if you actually do personality tests, like some people are just much more visual and really want to present themselves well or in a certain way. And that's great. I, it's just so ironic to me that we can have the exact same DNA, 100% the same DNA as identical twins and be so completely different. <laughs> but I love it, right? We all have to be different. And so, here has what, what she has learned through this process too. The same principles apply. It's about having clothes, even if they're a little bit more fashionable or you might rotate them out a little more frequently, but that fit right now and that you feel good in. And so I'm not saying everyone needs to wear a black t-shirt and jeans by no means, but I do want to encourage you, whether you're kind of down here with me, like, I don't really give a crap much what I wear or down here of like, I love being on top of the trends and looking cute and putting outfits together. Either way, the same principles apply. We have to get stuff that fits and that we feel good in. Okay, and then of course, another nice thing about having a really consistent simplified wardrobe is I can simplify my jewelry as well. So I have these earrings uh, that I partnered with Power Empowered Goods to make, I love these. They're lightweight, dress them up, dress them down. And then I have a pair of 
um, like just stud earrings and then these other two danglies that I wear but they go with everything and I don't feel like I have to have a lot of variety when it comes to jewelry and then as far as shoes uh, you know very similar thing that I have like a pair of black casual sandals I'll link to everything down below these I really like they're super comfortable from the buckle I just like go one place and pick everything out um, these are very cute but the elastic is too tight on my feet so I've literally been putting cans of corn in here when I'm not wearing them to stretch it out it's working but this that's not how I should have sent them back but I just I really liked them I thought like it's fine I'll just stretch them out so I don't actually recommend these unless you have really super narrow feet or you want to go through the effort of trying to stretch out the elastic but they are cute aren't they and I did do an interview with Courtney Carver from Project 333 uh, earlier this year that was so good. And so I want to link to that too because she talks about having 33 items for three months and most of us would be like, that is absurd. How could I possibly? But if you listen to that, it is so cool how it actually works and how most of us, if we were actually intentional about 33 pieces, that we could have a really streamlined closet. And I love what she says, like, you're probably already only wearing 33 pieces anyways. They're just surrounded by 200 other things, right? So it's actually not that outlandish, but perhaps my favorite thing that she said was that clothes are meant to fit me, not me to fit into my clothes, right? And I was just like, preach it, sister. And so I even love like cast from Clutterbug will say, have a donation box in your closet. Like if you put something on in the morning, you're like, Ugh, it just doesn't, it doesn't cut, you know, it just doesn't cut it. it. It's not easy to wear. I don't love it. I don't feel good in it. Take it off, throw it straight into the donation box, right? And just have it right there. Don't hang it up. Don't try to send it through the laundry and donate it later. Have it right there. Get rid of it, part ways with it. And I just think we're all going to feel so much better about ourselves. So I do have a couple other videos on kind of like laying out my whole wardrobe on the bed, how I go through the process of simplifying my clothes. So I'll gladly link to those down below because the three things that I've simplified that have made the biggest difference in our house were clothes, kitchen, and kids toys. Those three things alone made such a huge difference in how our house functions and feels. And so I really, I would love that for you too. All right, so I will link to those videos down below. I would love to know, like where are you at in this process? Have you streamlined your wardrobe? If you have any like testimonies about how good Good it feels or works that is so fun to hear and it inspires others as well because you know people think oh well of course Don can get by with that but what do real people do <laughs> right so if you would share that down below as well that would be super helpful all right well I love you I hope that you have a really good day and I'll see you again soon